everyone, KiwiKing77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to route your HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint. Um, it's actually quite easy, so don't expect this to be very vigorous. It's uh, very simple. So um, this will only give you root. It's not going to install any custom recovery, so you're not going to be able to install ROMs and such. I'll be doing more videos on how to install custom recoveries, unlocking your device and such, so be sure to stay tuned for those, be sure to subscribe, but uh, right away this will just give you root access, you'll be stock rooted, um, you can use your root apps, you can get free Wi-Fi tethering, I'll do a video on how to do so there, um, you can delete bloatware, everything that uh, it is good about rooting your device. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, on your phone, you're going to want to go to settings, Scroll all the way down and go to developer options and you're going to want to make sure USB debugging is checked. You're going to want to make sure that's checked up at the top. Once uh, you've checked that, you are just about ready to go. So what we're going to need to do is don't plug our phone into our PC yet. Do not plug it in yet. We're going to need to install the drivers on our PC first. So we're going to want to make sure we do that. So click on the link in the description of the video below. It will take us to the AC Syndicate site. As you can see, go ahead and scroll down. Feel free to make an account here, uh, a username and such. Feel free to join in on the forums. But anyways, go ahead and as you can see how to root, um, drivers are right here. So click on this link. It will take us to the HTC site. You'll see HTC Sync for the Evo 4G LTE right here. Go ahead and hit read more and then scroll down and you will see a download button right here. Click on that download button, let it download and then install it. So it'll basically install the drivers for your phone. After the drivers install, I highly recommend rebooting your PC. So go ahead and let the drivers install and then reboot your PC. All right, one more thing. After you install the drivers, you're gonna wanna hit start and then go to control panel. And once you're in control panel under programs, hit uninstall a program. It'll go ahead and generate your list. What we're gonna need to do is Uninstall HTC Sync. Sometimes I can kind of mess with your device when you're doing this. So you'll see HTC Sync right here. Um, you only want to uninstall HTC Sync. You'll see the drivers up above it are still there. But HTC Sync, hit uninstall and hit yes. So it'll go ahead and remove Sync, but it'll keep the drivers installed. So we should be good on that front um, with the drivers and such. So go ahead and remove HTC Sync. As you can see, it'll probably take a bit of time so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall it and I will be back. All right, I also have HTC Sync Manager. I'm gonna remove that as well. It's, it shouldn't, it, uh, it'll take a bit of time to remove as well, so be patient with that. Um, of course, you only need the drivers and the BMP USB driver as well. So let, this re let both of these remove and we should be good to go once we remove them. All right, once uninstalled, we are ready to go. And then you're ready to go in the driver category. So you're also going to need to go back to that thread and click on this root files link right here. So click and download the zip file here. Um, you'll see, I do want to give a shout out to XDA users Sparky M3 and Dan Rosenberg for the root exploit here. I also want to give a shout out to Zeno Max as well. So thanks to all three of those guys. So make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC. You also want to make sure you have these root files downloaded. Uh, once you do, you're actually ready to go. You can go back to your phone. All right, so once we're back to our device, we can actually plug it on in. So go ahead and plug in your Evo LTE. We're also going to want, as you see, USB debugging connected up at the top. Make sure it says that. Have charge only on and hit done. So go ahead and hit done and you're ready to go. So charge only, USB debugging on, and we are ready to go plugged into our PC. So go back to your PC. And once we're back to our PC, we're going to want to go into our downloads folder or wherever we downloaded that uh, that root file. So once we have that root file downloaded, you'll see it's called Evo 4G LTE root right here. I highly recommend uh, making a folder on your desktop. Just right click on your desktop and hit new. As you can see, I have one already right here. It's called Evo LTE root. Just hit right click and then hit new folder, create a new folder, and then call it whatever you want, Evo LTE, I'm gonna call it. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure you know what it is. And once you have that folder made, um, go ahead and double click on this Evo 4G LTE root zip file that's in our downloads, and then select all of these files here. Click and drag all of them over to your Evo LTE folder there. So it's gonna go ahead and extract into that folder. Once it does, we're ready to go. You can double click on that folder. And as you can see, all of those files are already in that folder. So, 
All right, so what we're gonna need to do is actually double click on where it says run me. It's actually a Windows batch file. So go ahead and double click on that. Of course, make sure your um, phone is plugged into your PC. Just hit run. And here is our script right here. As I said, shout out to Sparky M3 and Dan Rosenberg for the exploit. Can't thank those guys enough. But let's go ahead and it says press any key to continue when you're ready. So go ahead and press any key. And what it's gonna do is just go ahead and root our device actually. It's, it's very simple as I said. So it does everything automatically. It'll reboot your device a few times as well. So don't uh, freak out. As you can see it says reboot number one. Do not disconnect your device. So you'll see my uh, Evo LTE will actually go to the HTC boot up screen in a second here because it's rebooting. So it'll actually reboot a few times. So you'll see reboot. Once it boots back up, it'll actually reboot again and it'll continue through that same process. It should only take, my guess is no more than five minutes. I'll let you know obviously when it's done, but um, so it booted back up. It says reboot number two, do not disconnect your device again. So of course do not disconnect your device. So do not unplug this cable while it's running through doing its process. So let it reboot and uh, I'll be back once it's done doing its thing. All right, so as you can see, it rebooted again. It said remount succeeded. Um, it looks like everything worked properly. Everything actually did work properly. Looks like it says rebooting. So at the end, once it's done, it says press any key to continue. You can press any key. It'll exit out of the script actually. But your device should automatically reboot. If it doesn't for any reason, you can just go ahead and press and hold the power button. But as I said, mine automatically rebooted. So I'm going to go ahead and let it boot up. It could potentially take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. So kind of be patient with this first boot up. And I will be back once it boots back up. All right, so after my phone rebooted back up, it actually rebooted again. I'm not too sure why, but if yours does that, uh, mine just did it. So kind of be patient with that. You'll see it's booting back up again. So this time it should boot up just fine. Let's go ahead and double check and make sure. So it actually booted up. It said Android is starting, and then it did kind of a soft reboot and rebooted my phone. Hopefully nothing bad has happened. I'm sure nothing bad has happened, but let's go ahead and, of course, double check and make sure this boots up which it is doing right now and there we have it so don't be alarmed if it does that soft reboot after it boots up the first time mine just did it so do not be alarmed i kind of wanted to hopefully make sure you guys saw that so um, you can actually unplug your phone since we are done there with the script so you can let it load on up all right so now that everything has loaded up i should see the su application in my app drawer and i do where is it there it is super su right there so there it is um, I have it. You'll see it's called Super SU. You can actually go into it. I highly recommend doing this. It says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. Go ahead and hit continue. It'll go ahead and update your binary. And there we are ready to go now. So I have went ahead and installed an application called Root Check from the market, the Play Store actually. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into it just to show you guys that I am, of course, rooted. So I'm going to hit verify root access. It'll, it'll ask for super user permissions. I'm going to grant it super user permissions. And of course, congratulations this device has root access so there you have it that would be how to fully root your HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint uh, and that would be it so your stock rooted of course um, your bootloader will say tampered um, if you don't know what that means basically um, it's just a way that Sprint will know that you rooted your phone so you're gonna need to if for you need to take it back to Sprint for a warranty reason or anything you're gonna need to watch my how to unroot video so you can get it back to complete stock unfortunately it will wipe all your data but it will get rid of that tampered um, on your bootloader so keep that in mind but there you have it that would be how to root your HTC Evo 4G LTE you got super SU in the app drawer uh, you can now get free Wi-Fi tethering I will do a video on how to do so so I will link to that in the description so be sure to check that out be sure to subscribe to me as well follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up